welcome to Slider Games and another Warhammer 40,000 Battle Report. Today we have my custom Tau Sept Sunars taking on the Catachan Imperial Guard on this Agri World. Uh, we are playing an open war mission. Uh, we have already drawn our cards here. Let me sh show you what we have. We've got Domination. Uh, this is the objective where if you kill more units than your opponent at the end of the battle round, you get a victory point. And if you hold more objectives, you get a victory point at the end of each battle round. We've got this pretty interesting deployment zone here with one long edge and a rectangle kind of in the middle. And then our twist should be an interesting one for us. Cyclone, subtract one from the strength of attacks if the target is more than 18 inches away. So all of our guns at long range are going to be a little bit weaker. We do have six objectives out here. We got one down here with these trees, here in this little rocky canyon, another over here, another one behind this big rock, and then we got one up here up high, and then another one over here between the trees. Uh, for the terrain, um, trees are dense cover. The rocks, the pebbles, are light cover, give you plus one to your save, and they are also difficult terrain, so they will subtract from your movement as you move through them. And as I said, I'm controlling my Tau Sept again, and controlling the Catachans is Austin. Howdy. How you doing, Austin? I'm doing all right, yourself? Uh, not too bad. Uh, thanks for coming down. Um, and you are the Catachans, and you've been playing a lot of 9th edition, is that true? Uh, yeah, about once or twice a week. That's awesome. So. This is, yeah, again, my second game of 9th edition, so we have an expert and a novice. Hopefully he'll oh, teach I'm not an expert. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully he'll teach me something about it since I, uh, no, I guess no spoilers for the last game, but uh, the Tau are not that great right now. Um, but I you think it'll be, the guard. yeah, yeah, yeah we that. have, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're both kind of in a rough spot, but I think we have some pretty good lists. Uh, so this should be a pretty exciting battle report here. Um, and we'll take a look at the armies. Here we are with my Sunar's Sept Tau Force. We've got a lot of battle suits in this force today. Uh, our commander and warlord is this XV-8 commander suit. Her name is Skyfire. She has four fusion blasters, and she's accompanied by two shield drones. Her warlord trait is through boldness victory. So she gets to reroll failed hits when she's targeting something within 12 inches of her. Uh, our second HQ part of this battalion is an ethereal named On Lee, who also has two shield drones. Behind them, we have three squads of fire warriors with pulse rifles. Two of those squads do have gun drones accompanying them. Back here in fast attack, we've got five pathfinders with marker lights and pulse carbines. Next to them in elites, we've got a big squad of six stealth suits. They have two gun drones with them. The Shazray and another uh, model have the fusion blasters. The other four have burst cannons. The four with burst cannons have ATS, so they get minus one AP on those shots, which is pretty nice. Next in elites, we also have a squad of crisis battle suits. Each of them have three fusion blasters. They're accompanied by two shield drones, and they have stabilizing jets. Uh, that's not the right name. I'll get back to that. Uh, but what that does is they get to reroll hit rolls of one and wound rolls of one when shooting, which is pretty cool. Then in the back row, we've got some heavy support, two separate squads of broadside battle suits, one on the right there with the Magna rail rifle, that's the prototype weapon system, so I've spent a command point on that to get him that in addition to their uh, maneuvering thrusters. And he also has an ATS and a smart missile system, so that Magna rail rifle will be strength 9, AP minus 5, D6 damage minimum 3. Uh, he has two shield drones, and then we have a broadside with high yield missile pod, smart missiles, ATS, two shield drones, and finally we have the big elite, the Riptide, with a heavy rail, uh, heavy burst cannon, excuse me, uh, and smart missiles, as well as the ATS. So AP minus one, an additional AP minus one on all of his guns. So we've got a lot of uh, AP out here with the fusion blasters. Um, so hopefully we can blow up some of these Katachan tanks 
out here on the battlefield. But let's take a look at the Catachan. This is Austin's Catachan force. Austin, uh, tell me what you have here. All right, well, for HQs, we have Colonel Ironhand Strafkin. He will be my warlord, taking the warlord trait lead from the front, which gives him a six inch uh, heroic intervention. Then for my other HQ, we have a company commander with a plasma pistol, chain sword. He is taking the relic Kurov's Aquila. And that's it for HQ. For troop choices, I have five units of infantry squads, last pistol, chain sword, and all the sergeants. And this one over here has a mortar team. Then for elites, we have a Minasaurian Priest, an Astropath taking Psychic Barrier, the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, Sly Marvo, and uh, Sergeant Harker. Very nice. To give reroll ones. Um, and then Fast Attack, we have two Scout Sentinels with Heavy Flamers. Then in the Heavy Support, we have a Basilisk. I paid one command point to give him full payload. Heavy Bolter on the hull. Then we have two Battle Cannons. Triple Heavy Bolter on each with two Battle Cannons. Uh, they will be taking Hunter Killer Missiles. Then over here for the Transports, I have two Chimera running Double Heavy Flamer with Track Guards. Uh, I did not pay for the Storm Bolter on the front. And then we have a Valkyrie taking Hellstrike Missiles and a Multi-Laser. I did not pay for the Heavy Bolters on mm. the sides. Cool. And you just painted that thing last night, right? Yep. Sweet. It looks awesome. Everything looks good, actually. Um, pretty excited. We've got a lot of characters. Uh, that's really cool. Uh, I think this will be a pretty nice battle report. All right. On to deployment. We are deployed for our open war mission. Uh, the Tau Empire is down here uh, on this side of the board with the Katachan up at the top edge defending this agri world called Little Zam is the name of it. Um, I basically did a little castle here with my ethereal, uh, the high yield missile pod broadside and the riptide. And then we also have some troops in there sitting on an objective. Uh, over here to the left side, we have the Magna rail rifle broadside and another squad of fire warriors hoping to move out onto this objective. And then coming up towards the front, our stealth team has infiltrated outside of our deployment zone uh, onto these rocks. Uh, and then we have another strike team ready to jump on this objective with our pathfinders here. Uh, they do get a vanguard move, so they might get to move up into those rocks before the first battle round. Uh, but kind of spreading out to get on a few of these objectives early. I may have made a mistake and left this objective completely unattended, but... We'll see what happens. I also have my Crisis Suits and my Crisis Commander and Manta Hold ready to deep strike in on a later game turn. And Austin, what do you have over here with the Catachan? Well, I've got an Infantry Squad, Strachan, and a Minastorn Priest in this Chimera. I've got an Infantry Squad, Harker, and my other company commander in this Chimera. I've got an Infantry Squad and my Astropath and my Valkyrie. And then Slime Barbos and Deep Strike, my two uh, Battle Cannons, and my Basilisk here, and a guy, a uh, unit set on this objective, you know, over here to take that objective, and two Scout Sentinels to move up and try to flame some things. Yeah, that's uh, the Scout Sentinels. I, was, I really wanted to put my Stealth Suits up further, um, but with Flamers, their minus one to hit is no longer effective, so I held them back possibly a bit cowardly but it's for the greater good so that's what we did all right that is our deployment uh would you like to roll off to see who gets to go first in this game uh sure all right uh, grab a die there we'll we can roll right here in front of the valkyrie i'll let you go first guess first a two oh. Ooh, a five all right um I get to choose an open war, but I will definitely choose to go first. Okay, um, I will spend two command points to put uh, preliminary bombardment. Oh, okay, already we've got some command points being spent. You are invading my world. I want yeah. to blow your stuff up. That makes so. perfect sense to me. Uh, okay, we're ready for this preliminary bombardment. He's going to roll a d6 for each of my units, and on a 6, they take d3 mortal wounds. If you want to start right here with this 
Fire Fire Warriors. Warriors. Yep. On a six? Nope. Okay. Uh, Drones? Drones? Nope. No. Uh, Broadside? Broadside? Oh, hey! Bummer. And you take one more wound. One more wound. Okay. Uh, Drones? Yep. Nope. All right, good. That's important. Drones here? Yep. Okay. Uh, ethereal. ethereal. Nope. Okay. Uh, fire warriors. Nope. Nothing. Riptide. Nope. Okay. Drones. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Next broadside. broadside. Nope. Okay. Drones. <laughs> nope. Okay. Fire warriors. Or wait, no, those aren't fire. Pathfinders. I, either yep. way. That's all right. Uh, now the fire warriors. Yep. And then drones, drones for the stealth, and then stealth suits. I'm using a different dice. There you go. Yeah, that, that one's. Uh, nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we uh, two command points. We did a wound to the broadside. Uh, I thought it was worth it. I thought that was yeah, definitely <laughs> well played. I had a lot of units since the, when the uh, the drones are set up in unit coherency, but once they're deployed, they're considered separate units. So uh, statistically, I think you probably should have got a few more <laughs> than that. Um, funny story about preliminary bombardment. Mm. The first tournament I went to, I was playing against Iron uh, Iron Hands, and I did that. I got six out of the eight of my preliminary <laughs> bombardments, but five of them successfully passed their preliminary. Oh uh, yeah, it, it was terrible. Yeah. Uh, that's great. <laughs> All right, so with that, uh, we will go on to Tau turn one. <laughs> We are here at the end of the Tau movement phase. Uh, we did have a little bit of shifting. Uh, over here on the left, we didn't have anything move. These Fire Warriors are actually in range of that objective right now, so they didn't need to move. Um, our broadside did take a wound on that preliminary bombardment. He's down to five. Over here, we had a lot of shuffling. The Riptide jumped up on the rock, so he has a pretty good view of the battlefield. The Fire Warriors advanced backward. They rolled a big six. Uh, so hopefully next turn I can get in range of this objective marker. The Ethereal shifted around. He used Sense of Stone. So everybody within six inches has a six up. Feel no pain, essentially. Uh, the Riptide also... I spent a command point on Branch Nova Charge. So he has a three up invulnerable save. And his Heavy Burst Cannon is now Heavy 18 instead of Heavy 12. The broadside stayed still. Uh, here on the right, the stealth suits flew up over the trees so they could uh, get this, stealth, uh, this scout sentinel in range. Uh, the fire warriors moved up onto the objective to lend some supporting fire as well. And the pathfinders used their vanguard move to get up into these rocks. They can draw a line of sight to the scout sentinel, so they may marker light that to help out the stealth team. And that is pretty much it for movement. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with some marker lights on this sentinel. Rolling the first one one at a time. I need a four to hit since they didn't technically move this turn. Whoop! That is a five, so I can re-roll ones on the next four. That was pretty good. Drop dice. Let's roll another one. Okay, they all hit. That's incredible. Uh, so that is five marker lights. So we're re-rolling ones. We ignore cover saves, and it's plus one to hit. All right, with that, let me take a minute to think where I want to go next. So we are back. We have, first thing we're going to do with this fully lit up Scout Sentinel, the, all four gun drones are in range. They're all within 18 inches, because that's the range. So they do not lose any strength on their shots. They are strength five, toughness is five, right? Yeah. Okay, so they, with the marker lights, they only need fours to hit here. Drop dice don't count, I want to have to get two more there. All right, let's see what we got. Two more here for the drops. Okay, not bad. Rerolling. I think I got four ones in here. That's really good. All right, pretty good shooting. That was that was seven hits, uh, fours to wound. Looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five. All right, five wounds, no AP on the scout sentinel. He does not get a cover save because of the marker lights. Uh, no AP. That will be uh, four up. Four up save. So come on, fours. Nice. Oh, I take one. One wound. Okay. Not bad for some drones. Alright, and then next we are just going to keep pummeling him. 
Uh, the stealth team, the only thing they can get, the only thing they're in range of is that um, Sentinel. So we'll start with the two fusion blasters. Uh, they're hitting on threes with the marker lights, re-rolling ones. It's hey. one hit and the re-roll. Okay, both hit. Strength eight, so wounding on threes. One wound, AP minus four. Uh, no, I don't get, I don't get a okay, D6, <laughs> uh, five, four, three. Okay, so two wounds left. And we've got a bunch of burst cannons left. So it'll be 16 more shots. Four, four, four. Four, four. All right, these guys are hitting on threes. Rerolling ones. Couple ones there. You're gonna reroll that one. So. Yeah, this is very cocked. Okay. Yeah, ones. <laughs> reroll it again. Okay, let's take a look. 13 hits there. That was pretty good. All right, strength five, toughness five, wounding on fours. One, two, three, four, five. Just five wounds though, but only two wounds left to get through. These are AP minus one because I have the advanced targeting system. So these are five up saves. All right, on fives. No, do uh -huh. I blow up? Yes, <laughs> I, I'm up. not within range not of with, anything yeah. though, but... <laughs> Explosive <laughs> destruction out here. All right, so that that's a big sigh of relief. We don't have to worry about that flamer with my stealth oh, suits. But there's more. There's more, oh there's geez. There's more. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's another sentinel over there in the wings it waiting. Is double heavy flamer. Oh yeah, the, uh, <laughs> forgot about that, Camara, yeah. Two heavy flamers. Okay, equally as bad. Maybe I should have shot that. With the budget <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, very cool. All right, let me take a look here, see what else we can shoot. Next up, we have the Riptide and the High Yield Missile Pod broadside. We're both going to shoot both of them. Uh, they're smart missiles. The only thing they can target is the other Scout Sentinel. It's the only thing in within range, so they're going to shoot at that. And their two main guns, the High Yield Missile Pod and the Heavy Burst Cannon, I'm going to go into this Chimera here in the middle of the field. And I did spend a command point on aerial targeting to give that the benefit of one marker light. So they will re-roll ones here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start though with the smart missiles. Uh, they each have eight shots. I'm just going to roll all 16 at the same time just because that's all they can shoot anyway. So, But with it being beyond 18 inch range, it does reduce my strength from five to four, which makes a difference. So I'll be wounding on fives if I manage to hit this bad boy. All right, but we need first fours to hit. Okay, couple ones, all right. Oh no, I'm not, this is the Sentinel, so it doesn't work on him. Oh, that's not that great. One. That was a six, these two. All right, not too bad, not too bad. You have one more. Right a five. Here. Oh, thank yeah. you. Hard to see through the camera. All right, but yeah, we are reduced to strength four, toughness five, so these are fives to wound. Uh, we have three wounds at AP minus one. Three at AP one? Okay. On fives. Oh, but I don't save any. All right, three wounds on the Sentinel, and then we'll go to the high yield missile pod. It'll be eight shots into the Chimera, re-rolling ones because of aerial targeting. I'm dropping dice all over the place. Okay, definitely worth it. <laughs> <laughs> four ones right there. Okay, not bad. Uh, needed fours to hit. Okay, that's pretty good. And these are, would be strength seven, but reduced to t uh, strength six. So wounding on fours. Uh, we got t three wounds, AP minus two. D3 damage. <sighs> AP minus two, so that'll be on... Oh wait, hold up. I think Chimeras have a three up save. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, it is a three up save here. So on fives. Nice, oh! that was huge. <laughs> All right, I was hoping that would cripple him, but alas, here we are. Uh, so it is up to the Riptide now, who is uh, has 18 shots, which is pretty crazy. That's 16. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, he is only going to be, um, he's hitting on fours, and he is, his strength is reduced. So he will be, whew, putting on fives, I think, here. All right. 
Shooting the Chimera. Riptide. Rolling some dice, and then I need to roll two more. Okay, I am re-rolling these ones. A couple more ones. All right, that was pretty good shooting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right, we had 12 hits. That's pretty good. Uh, now we need the fives to wound, though. We got one, two, three. Just three. Okay. AP minus two again, so another five up save. These are two damage apiece. Can we do it again? Save two. Almost. All right, that was good. Um, All right. uh, Thinking about a command point here. How much damage a piece? Two. Two? Ah, it's not worth it. All right, two damage. All right, that was some good shooting, but even more impressive saving uh, by the Camara. Okay, now that does <laughs> alter my plans a little bit. Uh, <laughs> let me take another think here real quick. Okay, the last thing I had to shoot is my broadside with the Magna Rail Rifle. He cannot target the Chimera we were just shooting at, so he's going to come down, shoot at the other Chimera with the Magna Rail Rifle, and then his smart missiles can go up and over to hit that Wounded Scout Sentinel. Uh, so, he will start with his uh, smart missiles here, hitting on fours. No rerolls or anything, but that's good. Six hits. And these are wounding on five now because he's reduced to strength four. That is two wounds, AP minus one. All right, on fives. No. Fails. That's two wounds. I think that's Do I enough. Pull up? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we did eliminate the two scout sentinels, so that's good. Don't have to worry about their flamers. And that's two units destroyed. But I think I'm going to lose a lot of drones, so I'm probably not going to win that part. But we have two shots into that Chimera, hitting on fours. Both hit. Um, a wound roll of six does a mortal wound in addition. These are wounding on threes. I'm going to reroll this with the command point. All right, so that's two wounds, AP minus five. Rob Zaquilla, I do not get it back. Uh, AP minus five? Yeah. Uh, I don't get a save. Okay, so that will be 2d6 minimum three for nine. I got uh, one wound left. <laughs> one wound left, and I just spent a command point, so there's nothing I can do about it. All right, I think that's going to be the end of my shooting phase. I took out two scout sentinels. Oh, that's not true. I have a squad of brave fire warriors that have not fired yet. I think they're going to try to plink off this last wound. Let me check their range, and then we'll see what we can do. We checked it out. Three of them will be shooting through the tree, so they'll be hitting on fives. The other two will hit on fours. We're going to roll for our fives first. That's one hit. That's all we need, fours, for these two. All right, we got two hits. Strength four because of the reduction, so wounding on fives. No wounds. Okay. So the Chimera survives, and that is the end of Tau turn one. We don't have any morale checks or anything like that. All right, so it is on to Katachan turn one. All right, I decided with this one wound I was going to do something crazy. I know I said it was the end of my turn, but we've got an orbital ion beam. Three CP, which is really expensive, uh, and with your relic. Um, Austin did get a command point back. But I'm going to roll 2d6 for 10 inches. I'm going to run this line through... Yeah, I'm going to run it back here to here. So these two guys will be in line. On a 4-up, they take d3 more wounds, starting with this guy. I need a 4. That is super cocked. Yeah. <laughs> That's <Yes>. a 2. <laughs> All right. Wasted. All right, on this guy... I missed... I'm oh, okay wait. with that. I'm Six. Okay All right, he'll take D3. So I spent three command points to do... Hey, two mortal wounds. That All right, you spent two for me. one. I spent three for two. All right, that is now officially the end of Tau turn one. On to Imperial Guard turn one. Here at the end of Imperial Guard movement phase, we've got a Valkyrie. Is that what that's called? Yep. Okay, Valkyrie moved right into the heart of the Tau lines, dropped off some people along the way. The um, 
Priest? Is that guy a priest? Is that what he Astropath. is? Astropath, I'm sorry. Astropath jumped out, uh, as well as this squad. There were three casualties there whenever they leapt out of the Valkyrie, but uh, what else is going on over here? Well, um, Harker jumped out of the transport so he can give his six inch bubble of reroll ones. Mm -hmm. uh, tanks moved up their uh, four inch um, grinding advance. Uh, Distracting these folks and my Minotaur and Priest, they all disembarked from the Chimera. They advanced up, mm -hmm. um, and the Chimera moved up. Then these guys advanced up over here, getting a whopping six after yes. I spent a command point. Yeah, that was, <laughs> from a one to a six, it was definitely well spent. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So okay, cool. on to the Psychic Phase. Psychic Phase. My Astropath here will... Um, cast Psychic, not Psychic Shroud, mm -hmm. uh, Psychic, psychic barrier, barrier, that's it. Onto my Lehman Rust tank here. Lehman it goes off on A6. No. That is a three. I will spend a command point. Okay. So down to nine. Nine command points left. And bada buoy. No. Still fails. Wow, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on to shooting phase. All right, do you know where you want to go? Yeah, for the most part. Okay. So, cool. um, first off, I've got to do some orders. Oh, yeah. Smart. Strachan is going to yell at them. Forwards for the Emperor. They can now shoot even though they advanced. Cool. And, uh, you know, because he can, he's going to yell that pet himself, but I don't know if he can really shoot much. <laughs> that. Uh, yep. My other company commander is in this, and... Um, Unfortunately, these guys are out of range to do the command point yell out of the tank. Okay. So that's going to be my orders, and I'll start with my. Uh, yeah, Chimera this here first. Chimera is going to toast some pathfinders. It's going to put all of its shots into the pathfinders. <laughs> so it's yep. going to be two d six shots. For uh, six. For six. Um, I'm going to reroll both of them. They're individual shots and some catachan. Catachan reroll. So ooh. nice, paid so, off. Up to nine. Three, three, nine six. hits. They are toughness three. Uh, so you'll Strength be five. Yep. So wounding on threes. At minus one, so, so it's gonna be two, seven, four, six, seven. All right, seven wounds minus one. Mm -hmm. They do have plus one for being in cover, so these are back to their regular five up saves. All right, we oh, save wow. four. Okay. Three of them die, but they are still alive. That was uh, better than I thought it would be. All right, let's pull off some casualties and see where else we want to go. Back for some more Imperial Guard shooting. All right, so my mortar here is going to go into those fire orders. Yep. Try to, try to take them out. Yep, into the pathfinders there. Oh, pathfinders, yep. my bad. That's all right. So these six shots, three shots. Uh, I'll reroll that. For one. For one Ooh. shot. <laughs> so, um, Harker, free roll ones, so hits and wounds. No AP. No AP. All right, so there are four up save with the cover, which we fail. Okay, one left in the squad. All right. So, this squad here, mm -hmm. um, these two frontmen, mm -hmm. actually these three frontmen can see him, so they're yep. going to put all their shots into him. Makes sense. And then the other, this guy is not within line of sight, but everyone else, one, two, three, four, five, will shoot into the fire warriors here. Okay. And if I am correct, I believe, yeah, everything is in, within rapid fire. Okay. So that's going to be two, four, six shots into your... Pathfinder. Pathfinder. Getting on fours. Uh, three hits. Three hit. Uh, toughness three on him. Yep. Winning on fours. One wound. One. Need a four up save. Got it. Ah, oh, man. Nice that's, work. That's actually unfortunate. And then it's going to be uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, and then eleven because of the pistol on the sergeant. Yep. So it's two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. So are they within 18 inches? We need to remember uh, yeah, cycling. Um, they're actually because they're rapid fire. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so makes sense. On fours. All right. Not bad. Fours again. Oh wow! wow. Look at all those sixes. <laughs> I wish this was Overwatch. Five sixes. That's pretty sweet. All right, and there's no AP on this, so these are their four up saves. I'm not going to pass any of these. Yeah, I'm not going to pass these off to the drones. 
four up saves. Uh, save three, so two fire warriors bite the dust. All right, do you know where you want to go next? Yeah, so my um, tank back here, mm -hmm. it's got a 36 inch range on the battle cannon. Uh, no, 48 inch range on the battle cannon. 36 on the uh, heavy bolters. Okay. So the battle cannon, unfortunately. Wait, it can hit. So um, heavy bolters are going to go into the stealth suits here. Okay, they will be minus one to hit. All right. And the uh, cannon is going to go into the riptide. Okay. So I'll shoot the cannon first. <laughs> All right, what is your strength? I'm toughness strength, seven. Strength is eight. Okay, so, so wounding it on fours with the cyclone so in effect. Two shots off the battle cannon. Reroll the two into nine shots. Four. Yeah. Eight. Nine. Any on fours. That was good. Oh, yeah. That, that was, was really real good. good. Uh, wounding on fours again. Yep. Nice rolling. Wow, All right, so five, 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 three up and vulnerable saves on our Riptide. Failing three. How much damage are these? D3 apiece. All right, I'm going to reroll one of these with a command point and still fail. All right, All right. so three D3. So it's going to be three, six. Seven. Seven. Wounds. All right, and I do have a six up feeling of pain with the sense of stone from my ethereal. So sixes will save wounds. I got one six, so I take six damage. He is down to seven wounds. And then the heavy bolters into the self suit, yes. hitting on, hitting on <laughs> fives because he said it's a minus one. Yep. Unfortunate. Wounding on toughness uh, four. Okay, well it will be strength four, so yep. fours. Nope. All right, no wounds there. Stealth team survives. We'll put the battle cannon into the riptide again. Okay. And uh, the heavy bolters aren't they within? I love just stretching this table. <laughs> Heavy bolters, unfortunately, are not within range, or they okay. don't have sight on anything. Okay. So I'll just do the battle cannon. So it's going to be 2d6 shots. Okay. Come to you again for this. Sure. So uh, it's going to be 10 shots. Nice. So I've got uh, 4, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. All right, 7 wounds to get through on the riptide. Hitting on 4s. Oh, ouch. All right, that was significantly less good than last time. <laughs> Wounding on um, four. fours. Fours, yeah. Two wounds, three up saves with the Nova Charge. All right, I save them both. So that's an info, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With the, uh, with the branch Nova Charge, I boosted his gun and boosted his invulnerable save. Okay. All right, anything else? Uh, basilisk into oh, yeah. your reptile. All right. So the Basilisk, um, I'm going to pay a command point mm -hmm. for Aerial Spotters. Yes. I can re-roll, uh, I believe it's failed hits and wounds, so let me just, uh, okay. you know. All right, so we're coming back in. The Basilisk is shooting at the Riptide with Aerial Spotters for 2 CP to re-roll hits and wounds. Yep. And with your Tank Ace ability, he's a flat 3 damage. Yes, sir. So we need... Three wounds to get through to finish off the Riptide. So, um, let's see here. So, roll two, uh, two dice for the number of attacks and mm -hmm. discard all those results. So it's going to be D D6 shots. Um, I will re-roll the four. Try yep. to get a six. Nope. So it's going to be five, five shots. Five shots. So it's going to be on fours, re-rolling all failed hits. So two hits before re-rolls, four hits, four that's hits. good. Um, it is strength nine normally, so it's gonna be strength eight. So still on threes. Two wounds. Uh, I haven't spent a command point to re-roll a shot yet, have I? No, I don't believe so. You spend a command point to re-roll your psychic test, but I don't think you've, 
Because the only rerolls you've done have been the Katachan rerolls so far. Yeah, so I'm gonna, gonna spend another command point down to six now. Okay. We're both spinning them like crazy. Nope. Didn't help so right. we got two shots, uh, minus, I believe it's minus four. Right. Uh, no, minus three. Have our three up in vulnerable save. I fail one, and I already did spend a command point to reroll, so that's three damage, mm -hmm. bringing him down to four wounds left. But I think that's, oh no, your Valkyrie hasn't shot yet. No, it has not. Okay. Uh, I did remember I do have Sense of Stone, so I get three on sixes here. I can ignore those wounds. I got a six. Okay, so he is on five wounds left before the Valkyrie shoots. We're going to have our the Valkyrie shooting. The uh, Hellstrike missiles are going into the Riptide, and the Multilaser yeah. is going into the drones, shield drones down here, which I need to remember to use. All right, All right, what's so, first? Uh, multi lasers are going to be first. Uh, okay. Three shots hitting on fours. Two hits. Strength is four. Or toughness is four, I'm sorry, on the drones. Strength is six, so it's going to be threes. Threes to one. Two wounds. At minus uh, nothing. Okay, so these are four up saves. So one passes, and then one has. Is it one damage? Yes. Just okay, one. and then a five up, feeling no pain on the shield drone, which fails. So one shield drone is destroyed. And then the Hellstrike missiles. Yep. On fours. Yep. One no. hit. And then uh, strength eight, so on threes. So that hits wounds. Um, I will try to pass this off to a drone on a Get two it. up. Oh, <sighs> Got it. Unfortunate. All right. How much? Uh, so that becomes one wound. Two AP. Five up and uh, feel no pain. We'll save the drone. All right, the drone is gone. Okay. All right, so I lost two drones. My Riptide has survived, though. And that is the end of the shooting phase for the Catachan. We'll come... I my health strike missiles. Oh. <laughs> I uh, have my, uh, uh, whatever they're called. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. All right, we will be back with morale phase. Morale phase here. We are going to do our Pathfinders. They lost four. Uh, that is a run. Uh, these guys, they lost two. Two and two is four, so they pass with their seven leadership. Then we'll go back here. My drones each need to make a leadership test. I'll do the one next to the ethereal. Three plus one is four. That passes with their six leadership. And then on a six, this last drone will flee. He does not flee. He survives. And then we actually do have one morale check for the Catachan. And we lost three people out of this... Uh, that parachuted out of the Valkyrie. So I need to get a six to fail. Nope. All right, so we all survived our morale phase. All right, let's take a look and see how our scoring went. For scoring here at the end of round one, um, the Tau have three objectives. One here, one here under the broadside, and then this one swarmed by stealth suits and fireworks for three. Uh, Katachan have two. They have this one here, and the Chimera is holding that one, so they have two. So that's one point for the Tau for controlling more objectives. And then, as far as units destroyed, the Pathfinders were destroyed. So that's one for Katachan. But the Tau did destroy two Scout Sentinels, so they got more kills as well. So that's two points to zero at the end of round one. The Tau have the lead. Now let's go into Tau turn two. <laughs> Here we are after the Tau movement phase. Not a bunch of movement. Major thing will be all of the Crisis Suits and Skyfire, our Warlord, jump down from Manta Hold, hoping to unleash some fusion blasters. I really wanted him to get him in the backfield to deal with those Lehman Russes, but the Catachans have secured their back lines well and there was nowhere to go. So we got him in between the Chimera and the Valkyrie. Over here, the Fire Warriors did advance to secure this backfield objective. Um, our broadside shifted up a little bit to get a, some better range on some stuff. And our fire warriors did back up just a little bit over here. But that is all of our movement. We do not have a psychic phase, so we will go into the shooting phase next. Tau shooting phase. Uh, I would like to note I did do sense of stone again with our ethereal. So we have a six up feel no pain bubble here. The riptide also did a branch Nova charge again, bringing it down to seven wounds. So again, three up and vulnerable save, 
and 18 shots from its burst cannon. I also did automated repair systems and healed three wounds back. So that was really big. Got him up a bracket. Okay, so our first thing we're going to do in the shooting phase is our Warlord, Skyfire, is going to try to take out this Chimera, which did pop smoke in its movement phase. I don't know if we mentioned that. So he is hitting on threes, uh, and he'll get to reroll ones because of his Warlord trait. So it is four shots, threes. Ooh, that is bad. Two twos. Oh, okay, one hit. All right, it is strength eight. Toughness is... Seven. seven, so wounding on a three. Do I want to... I'm going to command point. Reroll one of those. Yeah, we need to try to get this. Oh, gosh. Oh, Brutal. Karat's Aquila. Okay, so three is to wound. It does wound AP minus four. Yeah, I don't get a save. <laughs> D6 damage for three damage. Bring it down to five. Okay, next we will... Spend two more command points for our crisis team. They are going to fire up at the Valkyrie, and they're going to use a stratagem called Coordinated Engagement. So the Valkyrie has... Any command points back? Yep. Okay, got a command point back. Uh, the Valkyrie will have the effect of five marker lights. So they're going to be hitting on threes, rerolling ones, I'm sorry, but minus one to hit for a flyer. So hitting on fours, re-rolling ones, and re-rolling ones to wound because of their prototype weapon system. And this will be nine shots with all of their fusion blasters. All right, hitting on fours. Re-rolling ones. Now this is uh, at the Valkyrie? Yeah. With the minus one? Yeah, so they would be hitting on threes, but on fours because of the Valkyrie. And these are strength eight. Well, I'm guessing wounding on three. Um, well, let me check my phone. I believe the Valkyrie. No, the Valkyrie is tough seven. Okay. Strength, yeah. Toughness seven, strength eight. Wounding on threes. They do reroll once to wound with their prototype weapon system. All right, so five wounds, AP minus four. I do not get a save. All right, so that will be five D6. Uh, t 13 wounds. I have one wound remaining. Oh, again, <laughs> one wound. And I've already spent a command point. All right, so he is down to one wound. All right, let's see, let's put it on top here. see what we want to go with next. Having a look around the battlefield, I do have these two Gundrans over here with the Fire Warriors. They are going to fire up into the Valkyrie to try to finish it off. It is eight shots. They will be hitting on sixes, though. Okay, that's good. Four sixes. That's... <laughs> significantly better than expected. Wow. And strength five, so wounding on fives. That is one wound, no AP. Can a heroic artificial intelligence save the day for the town? Three up. Ah. All right, you got it. So with that, the fire warriors will go ahead and shoot these five guys. They're going to shoot up at it. They're going to hit on fives. That is one hit. That's all we need, though. Wounding on a five. No wound. Okay. Oh, so they, <laughs> <laughs> they did not get to finish it off. These fire warriors advanced. Um, let's see. How do we want to do this? Let's do some split fire. All right. That always works out, right? <laughs> so we're going to have these stealth suits. We're going to have... Good grief. One fusion blaster and two burst cannons into the Chimera. And one fusion blaster and two burst cannons into the Valkyrie. All right. Yeah. All right. So we'll start with the Chimera. All right. Fusion blaster hitting on a four. We just won't talk about that. All right. And then I have two burst cannons, which mean eight shots. Hitting on fours. That was a lot better. That's a uh, pretty good rolling. And these are strength five, so wounding on fives. Two wounds, AP minus one. Fives. Oh no! Those are two fails. 
No. Okay, so we did finally get rid of the Chimera. Boom. All right, the stealth team is doing some work over here. Respectable stuff. All right, now they will go for the Valkyrie. If they could take out two big vehicles in one turn, that would be huge. All right, Fusion Blaster. Hey, it hits. Strength is eight, so wounding on a three. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, all right, and now our eight burst cannons. These are the guys that are doing the work anyway. Burst cannon boys hitting on fives. Wow, another great another spread. Another roll, what the heck? Okay, and wounding on fives. Uh, only one wound, but it is AP minus one. Four up. Oh, oh. no! Do I blow up? Okay. Oh, dang that it. Was, I all right. really wanted it to blow up. The blow up save. All right. Stealth team. Wow. Okay. You guys are my heroes right now. Fusion blaster boys need some work, but the burst cannons are doing the job. All right. That was huge, clearing those things out of my lines. Uh, I think next... Uh, let me actually take a look, see if we have any rapid fire here for these fire warriors. Off camera, we had some... Uh, small arms fired the four drones and these three fire warriors fired into this squad here and they took cover so they improved their save by one and we ended up killing one of them uh, so next we're going to go back over to our high yield missile pod broadside the missiles are going into our chimera and the smart missiles i guess more missiles are going back into this squad because they are ap minus one and they ignore cover saves so that puts them back up to a five up save so hopefully I can get rid of them since they are close to this objective. We'll start with the smart missiles shooting into the troops here. So we're hitting on fours. Okay, that's a hit. Three misses and wounding on threes. Uh, so four wounds, five up save. Okay. For the Emperor. Oh, nice. hey! All right. He killed one. Nice. Um, and then the high yield missile pod into the Chimera again, hitting. Uh, you pop smoke, though. Yes. So he's hitting on fives. I don't think there's. I mean, I could target these guys. Yeah. Okay. And three hit. And it is down to strength six, so this will be fours to wound. One wound, AP minus two. That'll be a five up. Nope. Okay, and it's D3 damage for one. Okay, down to four wounds. All right, with that being said, we're going to then... We will have our broadside battle suit over here his smart missiles same squad let's go and his heavy rail rifle is going to it's got to go into this lehman russ i need to get those battle cannons reduced okay let's start with our lehman russ shot here so our two heavy rail rifle shots uh one does hit the other misses and wounding strength would be nine reduced to eight. So wounding on a four. I don't wound. All right. Now we need eight shots into the Catachan troopers. Hitting on fours. Oh. Not great. Three hits. And wounding on threes. All right. Two five up saves. All right. Nope. Two more die. Unfortunate. Okay. And then last. We will have the Riptide. He's going to fire his smart missiles into this squad as well. And he's going to shoot his heavy burst cannon into the Chimera. I really need to get that thing off the board. We'll start with our eight smart missiles. Hitting on fours. That was a little bit better. Four hits. That's average statistically. Winning on threes. Three wounds, AP minus one. Again, no cover, so a five up save. And a save. Uh, Two more again, so another is down. I'm rolling hot, but. Yeah. And then we have 
the big gun. 16 shots. I'm just going to roll this in two sets of eight for my the convenience of my hand into the Chimera. These are hitting on fours. Okay, that was good. Seven wow. hits in the first batch, followed by eight, nine, ten, eleven total hits. And these are wounding on... Uh, these are wounding on fives, because it would be normally strength six reduced to five. So wounding on fives. What do we got? One, three. two, three. All right, these are AP minus two. Two damage a pop. Oh, I got to save two of these. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> he goes, all Can right. I explode? Does he explode? Yes. He does explode. Are you within... Oh. range of these guys that is the question let's Where take a look my... all right so this squad is in range of that explosion and we have to roll for those who are embarked upon this chimera okay. what do you want to start with i'll start with these guys they take d3 mortal wounds oh three no. brutal oh okay. all right uh i'll take these three, three down the okay and then for the models inside, so we've got two, four, six, eight. This is for the fellows inside the infantrymen. On okay. ones, they die. Oh. Who's in two? All right. And then this is the big one. This is for the company commander on a one he is slain. You gotta be shitting me. Uh, I think we can actually. Uh... <laughs> So you can, you just roll them all at once and then choose what dies. So you don't have to do them separately for the disembarkation. So you I can believe do... it's every, every unit. All right, let's take a look. We did take a look and yeah, we don't have to roll units individually. So we just have three ones. So three individuals are destroyed coming out. Now you could select your company commander if you wanted to, but I can't imagine that will be your plan. Uh... No. <laughs> um, that, that would be a bad idea. All right. So that is the end of the shooting phase for the town. So we'll get these guys out on the field, and then we will do a morale phase. At the end of morale, uh, two Katachan did flee here, uh, but the other two squads that lost three each uh, passed their morale checks. So that is officially the end of Tal turn two. We are on to Imperial Guard turn two. Here we are after the movement phase, or during the movement phase, I should specify, actually. Uh, we did combine squads here with this Katachan force for some command points, so that is one larger squad now. The tanks in the back moved up a little bit with grinding advance. Uh, the people who survived the explosion in the tank moved up. The company commander kind of split the difference between these two squads. And then finally, one Sly Marbo jumped down here and... Tell me what he's about to do. He's about to use his lethal ambush ability for detonate concealed explosives on this unit right here. Very nice. So on a four up, they suffer D3 mortal wounds. Ooh, that's it. And they suffer two, two mortal, mortal wounds. wounds. All right, we'll slay these two guys in the back. All right, very nice. And that is the end of your movement phase. And do you know what you want to do with your psychic phase? Yes. Um... We will do Psychic Barrier on this tank. Okay. Let's see if we can actually do it this time. <laughs> yeah. We do That's it. That's a nine. That works. So, he has a plus one to his saving. Plus one to save. And they have a two up save base, right? No, three up. Three up. Uh, yeah. It would be worth their points if they were. Yeah. <laughs> if they were two up, that's right. But it is now a two up. Okay. But um, there we will go to shooting phase. All right. Okay. So we did some small arms fire off camera. First, the mortar... Shot down to this fire warrior squad down here did not hit, uh, or they made their saves, I should say. Uh, this squad first rank fire, second rank fire into the drones, they lived. This squad first rank fire, second rank fire took out the fire warriors over here. We also did have the company commander fire his plasma into the shield drones, but he did not hit. Um, so, what is next? Slime Marvo is going to shoot his Ripper pistol into the Ooh. fire warriors right very, here. Very good. It is three shots, hitting on twos. They nice. Hit. Um, strength five, so winning on threes. threes. 
two wounds. Yep. And, uh, well, the weapon already wounds on a two up anyway, so. Okay. Uh, that will be no EP. No EP. Okay, so they are three up saves in cover. And they <sighs> bite the dust. We got one guy left. I gotta leave the sergeant. So I am not close to this objective anymore. All right, nice shooting there, Sly Marbo. Thank What's you. next? <laughs> and then um, Sergeant Harker, he has a special heavy bolt curve. Okay. Um, it is called Payback. It mm. is strength 5, AP minus 2, 2 damage apiece. And he is going to shoot into your uh, stealth suits over there. Okay, it is minus 1 to hit the stealth team. All right, so that's going to be... Um, how many shots does he get? Uh, three shots, so... Three shots, okay. Hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One hit. <laughs> awesome. One hit. Uh, and it's, it's reduced strength, so yep. it'll be wounding on a four, because they're toughness four, and it'll be strength four, so that wounds. Yep. At minus two AP. Minus two. I'm going to go ahead and try to pass this off to a gun drone. On a two up. All right. So a gun drone is destroyed. Let's take this one. Okay. And then Basilisk. It's going to fire into your... The Riptide. Riptide. Seven wounds left. Three damage each on these. D6 shots. I want to keep a two. Reroll the one. Yep. Into a two. Oh, okay. Two <laughs> shots. That's helpful. Two shots. On huh. fours. Do I want to... Oh. Yeah. Um, I'm going to CP that first two. No, no. I, I can't reroll oh, the okay. reroll. So, um, spend... I'm not going to spend two command points so for two shots. Okay. So, hang on, fours. Yeah. No hits. Okay. Um, Riptide breathes a sigh of relief. This but, Lehman Russ. Yeah. Heavy bolters are going to go into them. Okay. Into stealth suits. Yep. Uh, battle cannon into him. Into the Riptide, yeah. Um, I'm going to spend two command points mm -hmm. for... Uh, uh, it's not full payload, it's um, Hail of Fire. Hail of Fire. I can shoot at my maximum uh, weapons characteristic. Okay. Well, uh, at my maximum shots. Yeah. So it's going to be 12 shots into the Riptide. Oops. Not good for yield Riptide here. So hitting on fours. Uh, it's pretty decent, maybe. Yeah, it's average. Yeah. So it's going to be... Uh, Six, six hits. Mm -hmm. Wounding on... Strength, or toughness seven. Uh, strength seven because of the minus yep. one. So it's going to be wounding on fours. Okay. No <laughs> wounds. Oh, man. Or, uh, we've got some really swingy rolls oh. this game. Some crazy armor saves earlier, and now wow. nobody can wound anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, three, six, nine to the stealth suit. Mm -hmm. Hitting on five. Five. So that minus one. Yep. Wonderful. Two. Two hits. No wounds. Oh. Wow. The Katachan oh. fire is dwindling here. The cyclone uh, messing up their scanners. Um, so we have our last Lehman Russ here uh, to every, fire. Every uh, heavy bolters. Unfortunate. So uh, just battle cannon into the suit. Okay. Two d six shots. For ten, that's okay. good. Four, six, eight. All right, let's do this. Hang on four is re-rolling. Four ones. Three hits there. Ouch. Winning on fours. There is a wound. AP. Minus two. <laughs> and how much damage is this? Uh, D3. Okay. It is a three up in moral save, which I pass. Oof. All right. Is that the end of the shooting phase? I believe we have done everything here, so we will move on yeah. to the charge phase. We do have several charges going to come across the lines. First one, I think we're going to start with Sly Marbo. He's 10 inches away, but he needs a 12 because of the difficult terrain to get into that fire warrior behind the tree. The fire warrior is behind the tree, so he cannot see, so there is no overwatch here. All right, let's do it. Oh, All okay. right, eight. Doesn't make it. So these fellas here, 
going into the uh we'll say the say the drones and him okay uh, so you want to fire overwatch? i will fire overwatch we'll let you roll your roll here to see how far you get i'm sure you'll be in but oh, hey, what do you know? seven inches <laughs> all right you are in so we're going to have four shots from the commander and then an additional nine shots from the other crisis battle suits who are going to use their for the greater good ability. So we are, and we are the Tau Sept. So we are hitting on fives with fusion blasters. All right, so we need to roll these Overwatch shots separately because the with their uh, prototype weapon system, the crisis suits will get to re-roll once to hit and wound. The commander will not. So we'll start with the commander. Hitting on fives, nothing. All right, and then we have nine shots from the crisis team, fives and sixes. We did get three, oh geez, that's four, with th four ones. Wow. Okay, uh, so we have four hits plus... What do you know? <laughs> wow, seven, that's crazy. All right, and these are strength eight. I'll just remove them all. <laughs> <laughs> so these are uh, blowing people apart on twos. Uh, so that is seven dead. What do you know? There's only seven in the school. Oh, now. man. That... The last... They all go down. That the was... last one standing with the banner places it into the ground before falling over dead. Uh, <laughs> bravely <laughs> done, my friends. Bravely done. Okay. So we do have one more charge coming up. Uh, this squad over here is going to come into our stealth team. Is that correct? Yes. All right. This will be a long bomber. But we'll see what we can do here. Let's take a second and measure. We have measured up. We need a nine inch charge. Uh, we'll see if we get there and then we'll fire some Overwatch. Let's do this! <laughs> Would you like to re-roll that? I will spend a command point. Okay, we're gonna have a re-roll. This is important to get on that objective because I am not objective secured. No, Ooh, just missed it. just missed it. All right, All so right, we'll go ahead and lighten you up for trying. All right, so we got two fusion blasters. No hits. And then we have 16 shots. As the fusion blasters with, have been the entire game. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the bra or the um, burst cannons have been doing all the work. So we are at that's four, eight, twelve. Get one more. Sixteen dice. I'm just gonna roll fourteen and then those two after. Hitting on fives. All right, we got a few here. Three. Oh geez, four, five, six hits. And these are wounding on threes. What's their strength? Five. So that is five wounds, AP minus one. I'm in cover. Yep. So five up saves? Yep. Ah! Save two. Save two, three, three die. die. And then we do have some more shots. The, uh, Drones will lend their for the greater good support. Hitting on fives. Uh, that's only three this time. That's not not as quite as good. And these are wounding on threes. Three wounds, no AP this time. Fours. Wow. All right, pick off one more. Okay, that is the end of the charge phase. No successful charges and a squad wiped to overwatch. Let's go check out some morale. At the end of the morale phase, uh, these Catachan did pass their morale check. Over here, my lone fire warrior did run away for the greater good. He's uh, moving back to report some information to high command and live to fight another day. Uh, I did roll a, a check for this one drone. He passed. Um, so with that, the Tau are in control of one, two, three objectives. Katachan have one over here that they took from the Tau. So that's one point for the Tau. Oh, I'm sorry, two, yes. We do have the back line one as well. But three to two objectives, so that's a point for the Tau. And then the Tau did clear more units as well. I took out two Chimera, a Valkyrie, and then the Brave squad here in the middle of the field who died to the overwhelming Overwatch. Um, but we did lose two Fire Warrior squads. The squad here was wiped, and the squad over there did run. But that's another point for the Tau, making it four points to zero at the end of round two. We got a lot of game yet to play, though. Anything could happen. 
Next is Tau, turn three. We have concluded the Tau movement phase. A um, couple of things, the ethereal sense of stone again, for the six up, feel no pain. The Riptide, um, I spent two command points to heal him and then immediately took a wound off to get him his three up and vulnerable save. So he's down to eight wounds after the healing and wounding himself. These guys did not move. This drone who was with the stealth team, actually I think he was with that Fire Warrior squad at the beginning, but he has fallen back to assist the Riptide in the broadside. Stealth team and their drones did not move. Uh, we did declare Mont Ka from our Warlord. So all of these units, the drones, which can't shoot anyway, but the crisis suits and the commander himself will not suffer the penalty for advancing this turn. And they advanced up because most of them, the one in the back can't, but two crisis suits and the commander can get in range of this Lehman Russ. And the broadside did move forward a little bit more, and these two drones bravely stepped forward towards Sly Marbo and his men over here. Now, to start the shooting phase, I have no command points left, so no rerolls or anything. I think we're going to start here with this stealth team, and they're just going to fire everything into these four, last four, or actually, I'm sorry, there's six, I think, left there. But this squad, whatever, they're going to fire in there, so we've got our two... Um, you know what? I lied to you. I'm going to start with the gun drones, because they have to shoot the closest thing. So these two gun drones will shoot in here. And then we will have our stealth suits follow that up. So with the gun drones, they are hitting on fives. That's two hits. Wounding on threes. One wound, no AP into your squad here. On a four up. No. Okay, so the drones do manage to pick one off. Then we've got 16 shots from the burst cannons. We're just gonna start with them because the fusion blasters never hit anything anyway. And I dropped a dice. We'll have to roll the next one here. All right, hitting on fours with one more shot. All right, not the worst shooting I've ever seen in my life, but three and one more. Okay, get these out of the way. And they are wounding on threes. That is one, two, three, four wounds at AP minus one. Five ups. Uh, three up. more are gone, and we do have two fusion blasters. Let's see if they can actually do anything this game. One hits, wounds on a two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fusion blasters, nice. All right, so we do have two members of that squad left. All right, let's take a look and see what else we can hit. Back here in the shooting phase, our broadside here in the middle with the Magna Rail Rifle, he's going to put his smart missiles into the last two troops right here. And his uh, Magna Rail Rifle is going to go into this Lehman Russ here in the back. We'll start with the smart missiles, so eight shots hitting on fours. That was good. That was real good. Six hits. And wounding on threes. That is four wounds, AP minus one. Four AP minus one into yeah. the tank? Uh, into, sorry, into these guys. That was oh. the smart missiles. Uh, they are not within cover anymore, so Correct. sixes. Okay, the squad has been wiped. And oh, yeah, they're a smart missile. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then the Magna Rail Rifle. Let's see if he can hit this Lehman Russ on fours. No, he cannot hit. Okay, but with that, we will have... Our commander is going to shoot at this guy right here. He's not within 12 inches, so he does not get to re-roll anything, but he does hit on twos because he declared Mont Caw, so he doesn't hit on threes with his advance. Hitting on twos. That is three hits. Wounding, strength eight, so wounding on fours. That is one wound, AP minus four. Oh, I did not get a save. Okay, so that's a D6 damage. For three. All right, I am down to nine wounds. Nine wounds left. And then these two are within range. They're going to shoot at that Lehman Russ. The back guy is not, so he's going to go ahead and shoot at... This is Strachan, right? Right here? Is that right? Yes. Okay, he'll shoot at Strachan. 
Uh, we'll start with him shooting at Shragon, hitting on fours. Two hits. Strength, eight. So wounding on a two. Two wounds. AP f minus four. I do believe Strachan does have a invuln. Invuln, okay. Yeah, he has a five up. Five up, all right. Two five ups. Oh. Fails him. That's two D6. And he Whoa! is... Whoa! Twelve. He is mega dead. He, uh... You have slain my warlord. Slew the warlord there. All right, so that leaves six shots to go into that Lehman Rest. Uh, I would have preferred to have those two sixes on a damage roll, honestly, against the Lehman Rest. <laughs> but we'll take it. We're not going to complain. All right, hitting on fours. Okay, that's good. I'll take that. Four hits. And wounding on fours. Strength eight, toughness eight. That is four wounds. AP minus four. Yeah, I can't save them. All right, so I need to get through nine wounds. And I got exactly nine <laughs> wins. Oh. Do what? Uh, actually, I, I should. He could explode. Nope. He does not explode. All right. Oh. And oh, his sponsons oh, no, falling, falling <laughs> Blew the sponsons right off of it. Okay. So that, that was some good shooting there, Tal. Nice work for the greater good. All right. Let's take a look. I think we still have a few things left to shoot. Let's see what we've got. So it appears Sly Marbo is pretty sly because I was thinking my Riptide could come down and take a shot. But that tree has blocked the line of sight perfectly. So he's going to fire everything. 12 shots from the heavy burst cannon and 8 shots from the smart missiles into this squad over here. We'll start with the heavy burst cannon. 12 shots. This will hit on 4s. Not great rolling, but I can't complain this turn, honestly. It's been pretty solid. All right, five hits. This is strength five because of the reduction, so it'll hit wound on threes instead of twos. That is three wounds, AP minus two. And what details? Yeah. So they two take two damage each and blow up. And then we have eight shots with the smart missiles hitting on fours. Not too bad. Four out of eight is good. Uh, wounding on threes. That is four wounds at AP minus one. Four to AP one? Yes. Hey, watch these four sixes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that squad goes down. Then we will have the other broadside high yield missile pod. He's going to fire everything into this guy because that's all he can target. So we'll start with this high yield missile pod. Eight shots hitting on fours. That's six hits. And wounding on strength six. Is his toughness three? Yes. Okay, so wounding on twos. All right, three wounds, AP minus two. These are D3 damage each. Oh, he only has a six up. Oh, okay. Wow, so that's worse than a guard. Three D3. Yeah. So you have... Uh, he only has, um... Yeah, that's five. Yeah, he only has four wounds, so okay. you're, like, guaranteed. Yeah, he got him. Okay. And then... Uh, last thing. We do have the two drones over here. Can fire at Slime Arbo. So we'll take that. Eight shots hitting on fives. Four hits. My shooting this phase. In stark contrast to the catch hand shooting has been ridiculous. Uh... He only has a toughness of three, I believe. Yeah, toughness Okay, three. so that's two wounds, no AP. And he is in cover. Yep, yeah, um, so Slime Maro gets an additional uh, bonus to his cover, so he's on a three up right now. Perfect. He does <laughs> so take a wound. wound. All right, that is Down three. the end of the Tau shooting phase. And it was a good shooting phase for the Tau this turn. All right, we will check morale, possibly, and There's then, morale. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I cleared everything I shot. Yeah. Okay, so that is the end of Tau turn three. We will go on to the Katachan movement phase. We have come to the end of the Imperial Guard movement phase. Uh, the Lehman Rust did uh, shimmy up with his grinding advance. Harker and the Astropath shifted around a little bit. Uh, over here on the other side, Sly Marbo moved up uh, to take the objective with the company commander who advanced. 
Uh, so they are now facing off with the two drones for this objective over there. Now, we do have a psychic phase to get into here. All right, psychic barrier on my tank. Mm -hmm. Wow. That works on 11. Very nice. Um, all right, shooting phase. My uh, company commander right here, he's going to yell at himself to force for the Emperor. Yep. So he can shoot even though he advanced. Right on. So he's going to put a plasma pistol into them. Uh -huh. YOLO, Leroy Jenkins, um, he's going to overcharge so he, he'll win one, one on a two. two. Right so on. Um, do I get a one? No. Oh, a six. six. Very nice. All right. So one, one on, on a two. two. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to spend Okay, no command so point. Sly. <laughs> His ripper pistol. He'll do the damage. Hitting on twos. No. Two. Wounding on... What's the strength? Uh, strength five. Okay, so wounding on, on threes. No. Nope. Uh, oh, yeah. they're, strength, uh, they're toughness four. Oh, I thought they were toughness five. Mm -hmm. My bad. All so right, one... So one at no AP. So it'll be a three up save with the cover, which we make. All right. And then over here, my uh, Basilisk. Basilisk, yeah, I could not remember the name <laughs> for some reason. It's going to fire everything it's got into your Riptide. Riptide, yep. Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really... Riptide I has... I don't know what to target now. It's eight, Yeah, eight wounds left. You have to get um, three through to kill him with his three up in No, I want to. I want to target the heavy bolters in here. Okay. The shaker cannon are there also. Okay. Everything um, into the squad of crisis suits. Yeah. Okay. So uh, heavy bolter first. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend two command points to reroll everything. Reroll everything. Oh, reroll hits. Yep. So uh, uh, the heavy bolter first into the drones on threes. Those I mean on fours, rerolling. Nice. They all Three fit. Moving on threes. So you got two at minus one. Okay, they have a four up in one. Okay, make one, fail one, and then two damage, right? Yes. Okay. And it saves one wound, but it is bleh, evaporated. Okay. And Earth Shaker Cannon and that. Yep. So that's going to be. 2d6, uh, discarding the lowest result. It's going to be nice. 5. I want to reroll the 4 to see if I can... Oh, nice. I got 6. 6. Very good, very so, good. Uh, 6 shots. Heading on 4s, rerolling. Good shooting. Get a 3 there too, yep. Right. Into exactly the same yep. thing. Yep, yep. So it's going to be 4 uh, strength... There's strength 5. Or, I'm sorry, they're toughness 5. Uh, strength 8 after yep. minus 1, so it's going to be on 3s. Ouch. You want to re-roll any of this? No, I can't. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I could, but I'm going to save my command points. For some okay, points. I'm going to two hits. I'm going to try to send them to a drone. One or two. All right, they both go to drones. The drones can make five up saves. All right, so two drones are going to go. We'll just right. pluck these two. So we did clear a drone unit. All right, the Lehman Rust tank, um, heavy bolters into them. Mm -hmm. And the cannon into uh ah, son of a gun, that kind of wounds. Yeah, heavy bolters into the drone. We'll just say these guys. Okay. And the uh, battle cannon into him. Okay. So the heavy bolters first. Well, um, as a unit of three, he's a character, so you cannot target them with lookouts, sir. I'm targeting uh, these guys first, okay. and yep. if I don't get through them, then I can't shoot. Yeah, okay. Own. Just wanted to make sure. Actually, you know, that's a horrible idea, because I'm not going to get through them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put the battle cannon into, uh, into that. Okay. So. Five wounds left on our broad side back here. Six. All right, so five heavy bolter shots hitting on, um, hitting on force. Yep, and this is going to the drone, right? Uh, into these guys. Into them directly, got it. So, um, yeah, I hit three, and I won one, two. two. All right, I'm going to try to pass the first one off to the drone, which I do. He blows up, and then a five. What's the AP on that? Minus one. Minus one, so they do make their save. They have a three-up save, so five. 
So the drone's gone. He has cleared all the drones. That's two units taken out. And then I'm going to spend my last two command points mm -hmm. for Hail of Fire. Nice. I'm shooting at my maximum characteristic. So that's going to be three, six, nine, twelve. One, two, our Magna Rail Rifle broadside. Hitting on fours. You can reroll that when you drop that two over there. Oh, the... Drop dice don't count. You can roll it. All right. There right. we go. Nice. So, wounding on um, strength seven right now with the minus one. Uh, yeah, so wounding on threes. All right, wounding on threes. That's all of them. Oh, yeah, sweet. So it's going to be uh, two, four, six. That's going to be eight at minus two. Eight at minus two. All right, let's try to take some on the drones. The drones take them. Uh, one drone lives. One is dead, so I can try to take another one on that drone. On him, does he live again? He doesn't live. All right, so that was three wounds taken by the drones, and there were eight total? Yep. All right, we got five. He's got a two up save, so AP minus one puts him at a three up. AP minus two. I'm sorry, uh, four up save. He saves, ooh, fails three. How much damage? D3 apiece. All right, you got five wounds to get through. And, and that is five exactly. Yay! Nice, all right, so that uh, bombardment at the beginning of the game Got you that kill right there. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. All right. Um, and then we do have the mortar left and yep, just Harker. The mortar okay. And uh, and uh, Harker. Yeah, he can. So Harker's gonna shoot his uh, heavy bolter into them back there. A stealth team. Yep. So okay. Three shots sitting on threes. Uh, it'll be they have two hits, but because yeah, so of the minus one, but that works anyway. And then wounding on... Uh, Their toughness four. Yep, so three. Um, he's minus one minus strength, one. so that misses. Or that doesn't wound. Oh, you're right. Yeah, because yeah. of the cyclone we have going around here. All this wind oh, whipping up. Oh, man. Okay, and uh, we'll just say um, mortar into them. Okay. Five shots. Hitting on fours, re-rolling ones. So three, toughness four. Wounding on fives because of the minus one. No wounds. Ouch. Okay. Um, on the charge phase. Uh, All right. Strachan's going to charge into the drones. Yep. You like to fire Overwatch. Oh yeah, good idea. All right, I get eight shots with the drones hitting on fives. No hits. Okay. okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. Charging it. Wow. Snake Eyes, he's, I think. <laughs> I don't make it. All right. Let's. <laughs> I was about to say, if you don't roll Snake Eyes, I think you're in. We'll measure up just to confirm here. Give us one moment. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Sly needed anything but a two, and he would have gotten in, but he did fail that charge. But no damage on Overwatch. And we'll have to measure up, I think. You might be controlling that objective, but we'll measure up. That is the end of the, yeah, everything that you shot died, so there's no morale. So that is the end of the Katachan turn three. We'll take a look at objectives here and see what our score is at the end of round three. Checking out scoring here at the end of round three. Uh, we are contesting this objective. Two drones and those two characters are all within three inches, so that is contested. But the Tau do control four objectives. We have our backfield objective here, uh, our castle objective, stealth team objective, and the commander is within range of this one up on the top. Uh, so that gives us four uh, to the one held by the Katachan in the backfield. So that's a point for Tau. And then it was very close on killing units this time. Uh, the Katachan took out three drone units and the broadside battle side, the broadside battle suit in the middle of the field for four kills. But I did end up with five units destroyed, taking out a squad here, plus the characters, squad over there, and the Lehman Rust battle tank. So that puts it at six to nil here before Tau turn four. We are here at the end of the Tau movement phase. Uh, we do have the Crisis Commander, our Warlord, Skyfire, and his squad of battlesuits have moved up to engage the Lehman Russ. 
back here, nobody moved. They're not in range of anything, but I'm happy with them staying here and controlling this objective. Over here, uh, we do have, uh, again, nothing moved. I guess, yeah, nothing else moved this whole phase. Uh, the drones are staying there. They can take a shot. They're already within range of that objective, so they don't need to move. Again, I'm fine just camping these objectives and holding on at this point. Um, we'll go ahead and get started with our shooting. We're going to have our commander. Actually, let's go ahead. We're going to spend a command point to give five marker lights to this for our squad of three uh, crisis suits. That was my only command point. So they have hitting on threes, rerolling ones. Grabs Aquila. I got, got it. it. You got a <laughs> command point back. All right. So let's see. Hitting on threes. Rerolling that one. All right. Oops. All right. And strength eight, toughness eight, wounding on fours. That is. Oh, and they reroll ones to wound as well with their uh, prototype weapon system. So that is five wounds, AP minus four. You did get your uh, ability off, so you have six up saves here, I believe. Yep. So five six ups. I've seen you roll at least four sixes on saves before, so we know it's possible. For the emperor. Oh, no. Save one. That's four damage. I think our front guy is. I uh, should have rolled these over. So we're just going to roll uh, four d6. I'm not going to do the double six because I didn't specify. <laughs> um yeah that just happened five damage okay i live <laughs> down to five all i right. didn't think this was possible yeah uh, okay so all right that happens you know that's the way it goes sometimes should have measured up a little bit better um the commander is going to fire let me take a look and see if he's within 12 inches the commander is within 12 inches so with his warlord trait through boldness victory he will get to reroll his misses firing at the lehman russ Hitting on twos. That is four hits. Wounding on fours. Uh, I don't have any command points. That's one wound. You get a six up save. And he hey. makes it. Oh, geez. That was not what we had planned at all. But we do have these guys. They can hit him from far range. Um, but let's go ahead and do our... Our gun drones over here, they're going to shoot into old Sly Marbo. Hitting on fives. And that's two hits. Wounding on threes. Two wounds, no AP on Sly. Two wounds, no AP. So it's going to be on a... Uh, he's not in cover, not so in five co up. It takes two more wounds. Down to one. One left. Let's have our high yield missile pod. Go into our Lehman Russ, smart missiles, and a Sly Marbo. Let's start with the let's start with Sly Marbo since we just shot at him hitting on fours. Uh, that is two hits, wounding on threes, two wounds, AP minus one. Sixes. Sly is removed as a casualty. Then we have our eight high yield missile pod shots into the Lehman Russ. Hitting on fours. That's four hits. These are only strength six, so wounding on fives. That is one wound at AP minus two. So four up save on the Lehman Russ. He Dude. makes it. Okay, Lehman Russ is looking tough. All right, let me measure something. I'm not sure his smart missiles are in range of anything, but we'll take a look. Measured up. Um, we're going with the Riptide, his heavy burst cannon. We'll go into the Lehman Russ, try to finish it off. And then his smart missiles will go into the company commander over here. Doesn't need line of fire to hit that. But we'll start on the Lehman Russ. We have 12 shots hitting on fours. Okay, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Uh, but it is wounding on fives. That's three wounds, AP minus two. All right, so uh, this is going to be a four up. Wow. Nope. Save two. It takes two wounds. So he's down to three left. You got this. And then we have the smart missiles hitting on fours. Uh, four hits. Statistically average. Wounding on threes. 
That is four wounds, AP minus one. Four and AP minus one. He has a five up in bone, so let's do this. Uh, save two, so it'll take two damage. He has two wounds remaining. Okay. And I believe that completes my shooting phase. I don't have anybody else in range. The Crisis team kind of blew it with their damage roll over here, but we're doing all right. We did remove Sly Marbo as a casualty here. Um, no, yeah, no morale tests or anything like that. So that is the end of Tal, turn four, on to Imperial Guard movement phase. End of Imperial Guard movement phase. Uh, spent the command point on Relentless, so he's at his top bracket for everything. This squad did shuffle over a little bit to get some shots here on the Crisis team. Basilisk stayed still, and our uh, company commander did move up a little bit closer to these drones. Uh, all right, so we're ready to rock. So, uh, psychic phase, I'm going to do smite. Oh, yeah, uh, nice. Astropath, they are not very good at smite because <laughs> they can only roll 1d6, so it has to be a 5 up. Yep. Uh, to go on. Smite off. So, uh, here we go. Hey! Hey, there you go. Got a smite. And d3 mortal wounds. One mortal wound. Okay, we will hey, mark One that. mortal wound's got me somewhere. So, uh, so yeah, far, that's, so. that's good. We'll stick it on this guy in the front. He's got two wounds left. So, um... Basilisk. He's going to fire his heavy bolter into this three-man unit here. Yep. So, um... I'm going to, uh, no, Aerial Spotter is two command points, so. Okay. What's his big gun going to go into? Um, his big gun will also go into those three. Okay, sounds good. So, um, on fours for the, uh, Heavy Bolter. Nice. On five, yeah, fives for the Heavy Bolter. Yep. Nothing. Because, yeah, their toughness five. Yep. The strength is reduced now because of the Cyclone. So, uh... Earthshaker cannon, so it's going to be. Ooh, I'll re roll that one. Oh, okay, three, three shots. shots. Uh, it's going to be two, two hits. Three is to win, one wound. AP. One wound. Uh, minus two. Minus two. Okay, so these are five up saves. Or a five up save. Which and I got. Wonderful. Um, these guys here, they're going to uh, fire everything into them. Okay. Um, mortar, however, will will go into these drones. The drones in the back, yep. Right so on. I'll do the mortar first, so it's going to be D6 shots, so it's going to be one, one shot. shot. I'll reroll that because I'm cat a chance. Yep, for three shots. shots. Uh, this is going to be on fives because I technically moved the unit. Okay. So um, it'll be on fives, three rolling ones. Nice. Wow, two hits. Two hits. And uh, one wound. One wound and no AP. No AP. So a three up save because they're in cover. And he makes it. All right. So now it's going to be two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Uh, he is not one. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. And that's going to be nineteen shots. Okay. Into your uh, this guy here. Yep. And the crisis team. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 19. 19 shots. 19 sitting on shots. Wow. Nice. Ouch. <laughs> uh, Rerolling ones. So mm -hmm. we got that going for us. Oh, and more ones. So, uh, yeah. We're doing that much. All right. Yeah. And several. Gonna... Several hits, we'll call it. It's going to be on five. Five to wound, yep. Take this. So it's going to be. Two. Two wounds. No AP. So three up saves. And I fail one. Aha! He's down to one wound left. Feel the bite of the mm -hmm. last gun. All right. Um, we'll just say everything from the cannon. I mean, everything from the Lehman Rust into yep. them. All into the same unit. So it's going to be uh, three... I'm going to start with your boulders first, since he's only got one wound left. The three wound models. Yep. Okay. So, boulders first, hitting on threes. How many boulders does he have? Uh, three, six, uh, I mean, two, okay. uh, three. So, it's okay. going to be nine shots. So, it's going to be wound, uh, hitting on fours. Okay. Three rolling ones. Nice. So, that's going to be... Oh, wow. Uh, seven hit. Wounding on fours. So it's going to be uh, three. three at AP minus one? Uh, yep. Okay, so four up saves. 
right, save two. This guy does die. And then the battle cannon. Two shot. Oh, I'll re-roll them. Watch me get snake eyes. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> all right. Um, they that's all hit. Good. That's wow. real good. Uh, wounding on threes. Yep. One wound. AP? Oh, minus two. Minus two. Okay, so this is a five up save, which I fail. How much damage? D3 for two. two. two All right, he's got one wound left. We're going to stick it on the guy in the back. And I just realized something. Yes. I haven't used my death strike. I'm not death strike. My hunter killer missile. Fire. Yet, so Shoot him. I'm going to fire it into them. I'm a four up. Yeah. That's the way it goes. Um, uh, your plasma pistol can fire into this. I'm overcharging. Yeah, overcharge. <laughs> Wound on it, too. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah. I'll just spend my last command point Okay. For it. <laughs> last command point. Okay, this is rigged. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is... Uh, I think that's encapsulated the uh, Katachan shooting this whole game, pretty much. You've had some nice armor saves. Uh, but the shooting and wounding have not gone the way of the Catachans this time. All right, so that is the end of the shooting phase. Uh, we will go on to the charge phase next. At the end of Catachan turn four, the Catachan force has withdrawn from the battlefield. Uh, the overwhelming firepower of the Tau battlesuits and the Sunar Sept led by Skyfire uh, have forced them off the battlefield. Uh, how do you how do you think that thing how do you think that went? Yes. <laughs> uh, it was uh, it was rough. Um, uh, it was uh, I, I couldn't get into where I needed to go, and anytime I fired anything, it was just like two shots. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I've played a lot of dice games. I've played a lot of 40k. Obviously, this is my second game of ninth edition, but. I mean, I've seen some poor rolling throughout a game, but normally it's like one turn, it goes bad, and then you bounce back. But from turn two, turn two was really <laughs> where you had like 25 shots into two drones and didn't hurt either it was, one. It just went. Yeah, it was bad, and it never recovered, um, unfortunately. I mean, I don't think you played anything incorrectly. I don't think you made any errors strategically. It was just, it came down to sometimes in 40k, the dice tell the story. And today the dice decided that the Tau had the upper hand in this match. Um, I thought it was a good game. I had fun. Uh, did you have fun? Oh, I had a lot of fun. Perfect. That's what we're here to do. Have some fun rolling some dice. Next time we'll have you come back down and uh, I'll let you uh, use your own dice. <laughs> Since mine seem to have cursed you in this game. Hey, you know what? I like to think that this agri world that they just took from me was just full of potatoes. So yeah. Just potatoes. <laughs> like, <laughs> the, the Tau have seized the Imperial Potato Farm here at Little Zam. Um, but that that's it for us here. Tau victory. Uh, thanks for watching Slatter Games. Have fun. Mm -hmm.